When you produce your webinars with Riverside, not only do you get high quality recordings, both video and audio from all your guests, so you can repurpose that content later, but you can live stream to multiple platforms, have live Q and A's with questions and polls, have more control over your layouts with screen shares, branded audience registration forms, and you can even sync that data to HubSpot or Salesforce, and use Riverside's powerful repurposing tools like Magic Clips or Magic Segments to create dozens of pieces of content from a single webinar. Here's what it looks like to stream and record a high quality webinar with Riverside. From your Riverside dashboard, you can schedule a future webinar by going to the Schedule tab here on the left. Create a new webinar by clicking the New button in the top right. And now let's title our webinar. We can choose a future date and time. And if other people will be joining us to co-host or as guests in the webinar, which we want recorded and streamed, we can invite those people via email here. We'll also put a description for this webinar. And now we have some advanced options as well. If you wanted to do a simulated live webinar, you can choose to have pre-recorded content ready to play at the time of the webinar. You can even have recorded that content in Riverside, edited and exported, and then choose one of those exported clips to play at that day and time. I'm gonna to toggle this off because our webinar is going to be live. Next, you'll probably wanna turn on audience registration. Here, we can create a branded registration form that shows information about the webinar, but also asks an attendee's name, email address, and then we can add custom fields like phone number, brand or company, and add even more. That could be a single selection field, a checkbox field, or an open text field to accept any information you'd like. Let's add a custom field, and this will be a custom text field asking, how did you hear about us? We can choose to require that field or not and hit save. Next, we can actually customize the branding of the registration page that attendees will see. So let's add our logo, and we can even add a background image. I'll upload a custom image here, and you can even choose an accent color to match your brand. We'll hide the Riverside logo, so just our brand logo will be seen. And you can also send out email notifications as reminders to attendees who have signed up. I'll send one when they register, a day before, and even an hour before the event. You can also send follow-up emails and click the eye icon and Riverside will show you what that looks like. Finally, you can live stream not only on Riverside using audience mode, but you can connect your YouTube channel, LinkedIn page, Facebook, Twitch, and more. When you're done, click create session. You'll then get a link that you can send out in an email or social media for attendees to register. Let's see what the form looked like with our custom branding. And here's our branded registration form that attendees will see. It has that custom background image we uploaded, our brand logo shown here, and then someone can register. Once someone fills in that information, they can click Save My Spot, and they'll get those reminder emails with a link to join, both immediately, a day before, and an hour before your webinar start time. They can also choose to add it to their Google Calendar here. Back on your Riverside dashboard, as attendees register, you'll see that number of participants increase right here. I can click that icon and see the registrants who have signed up. They'll have a unique link to join. This way you'll know if they actually attended the webinar. And if you'd like to sync all the registrants to HubSpot or Salesforce, you can do that by clicking the Sync To button here and then choose your destination. Sign in with your HubSpot or Salesforce account, and then this attendee list will be synced over to those platforms with the webinar title in the details of that attendee so you know what webinar they came from. Now on the day of the webinar, when you're ready to live stream, we'll go to the Schedule tab once again. Here's the webinar we had scheduled, and let's click Start Session. Here on the Riverside Lobby, you'll choose your camera, microphone, and speaker output, whether or not you're using headphones, and then join the studio. Now, if you'd like to preload slides or other media, you can add those here in the studio, and they'll be saved here and ready to go when it's time to go live. That could be slides using Riverside Presentation, Click Share and then Presentation, upload a Keynote, PDF, or PowerPoint file, and then you'll be able to show those slides while you're live streaming the webinar. Those slides are also being recorded in high quality, and you'll get a separate track for those and every participant's video and audio. You can even hand over control to one of the other remote guests if they'd like to advance the slides. That could be video or audio clips, and again, these will stay in your media board until you're ready to show them. When you're doing webinars and other live events, countdown videos like this can be great, this way, you can start the live stream, make sure everything's streaming, and give attendees an expectation of when people will actually start talking. Also, a great feature when you're hosting webinars is if you have multiple guests, or now, like during a countdown video, if you'd like to hide video of certain guests, you can go to the People tab here on the right-hand side, and then click Hide. When you do that, participants and guests are not recorded or seen by the audience. They'll only see the media that's being shown, or if there's a person live on stage. Then you can quickly show someone again, and they'll be brought back. Let's hide the media by clicking preview here, and we're ready to stream. 
You can still add destinations right before you live stream by clicking here. You'll see you can connect those social media accounts or just go live directly on Riverside. So let's go live and then I can show you some of the other new features like reactions, polls, questions, and more. I'll click start recording and that's actually recording and live streaming. And remember, you're getting high quality local video and audio recordings, both for you as the host, any remote guests, and even audience live call-ins. And as an audience member, when they click their link to join the webinar, this is what they'll see. They're watching the webinar live. They have the chat window here on the right, and they can also react to the webinar using the emojis here at the bottom. When audience members send a comment, the host or producer here in Riverside can see that comment here in the chat window. This is the public chat. There's also a private chat where just those who are guests and hosts can be able to see messages. And I can choose to show those messages live on screen. This way your audience knows you're interacting and watching their comments. That will also show here to the audience. Then when it's time to show slides, presentation, or maybe sharing your screen, you also have new layout options here in the Riverside Studio. If you go down to the layout tool here, you can choose to do a picture in picture where, where you as the host or a guest are in a circle. You can also do one of my favorite layouts, this vertical picture in picture look. And this is exactly what your audience is seeing as well. Then when audience members react, like clicking a heart, both you as the host and other people watching will see that reaction in the corner. Now, when an audience member asks a question in the chat, Riverside can tell that it's a question and you'll actually see it labeled as such here. And we separate those into a second Q&A tab up here. So this way you can separate actual questions from all the other chat messages that might be coming in. Then when it comes to a question, I can show it on screen or I can also reply and answer this question in a thread right here in the chat. So I can reply. And when I reply to a user's comment, they'll see that as a threaded response in their chat window also. Then as a host, I can even ask polls where the live chat can vote. I can save a poll to use later, or I can launch it immediately. And when I launch a poll, you'll see it's now marked as live. Audience members will see that poll pop up here in the window. They can choose to answer now. They'll choose their answer, and they'll see the percentage of votes one way or the other from the audience. Also, if you have a panel discussion or multiple guests, and you wanna be able to call out someone who's ready to speak, there's actually a raise hand feature. This is only available to invited guests and hosts who are actually being recorded and streamed, but you can choose to raise your hand. This way the host can actually call on people, keeping the conversation organized. Finally, you can create and show lower thirds, some that are even linked, and the audience members can click them while they're watching. I'll go over to the text tool here on the right. You'll see I have some lower thirds already created. I can create another one even on the spot by clicking the plus icon. I can click customize to customize it even further, changing between the different color and brand styles, alignment, and how long I want it to show on screen. Then I can save and show or save it for later, but let's save and show it. Then as an audience member, and when I see that link on a lower third, that means I can actually click it as an audience member and go to that web page. When the webinar is over, just click the stop button at the bottom. The live stream will end. So those who are watching as audience members will immediately stop seeing the hosts and guests. So anything you or your guests say, once you click stop, is not seen by the audience. Give your remote guests a heads up to wait around just a few moments for their high quality video and audio files to upload, and then you'll have access to all those high quality files, screen shares, media board saves, and the video and audio of all your guests. Now, after the webinar, you can see the statistics of those who joined live and download all that registrant information as a CSV file. If we go back to our attendees, I can add any attendees that might've joined last minute to HubSpot or Salesforce, and I'll download the CSV file here. In that downloaded CSV file, you'll see the registrant's name, email, and you'll also see whether or not they participated or joined and watched the webinar live in this column. And any polls that you might've run during the webinar, you'll see their response here on the CSV as well. Now, moments after your webinar has ended, Riverside is automatically gonna create magic clips, segments, and more from your content. So here in the project folder on the Made For You tab, we have a magic episode, which is the full length recording already edited with our AI preferences, like removing silences and filler words. And if we scroll down, we see a bunch of magic clips already created. We can jump into any of these clips. You see, it still has our branding. We can move the captions where we'd like. Maybe we wanna reformat this as a 16 by nine or one by one square. Well, we can do that all with a single click. And then this clip is already ready to export. We can do it in up to 4K quality. And now I have dozens of clips for my webinar content automatically. Also, when you have longer content like hour long webinars, you can go up to the create button here and choose magic segments. Magic segments will be about five to eight minutes long and they're great to publish as long form videos on your YouTube channel or embed them in your website. And if you wanna edit your recording from scratch, you can do that too. Just go up to the create button and click edit. 
Now you have the full recording with you and all participants ready to edit. You'll see any screen sharing or media board files are automatically placed and laid out nicely. We can apply our brand with a single click. I'll just click apply brand. We have our background image, brand colors, and even after the fact in the editor, we can change the layout. So maybe we wanna to go to that circle picture in picture view. We can do that. You can enlarge that circle by clicking here and enlarging it. And we can even add background music, add royalty-free video B-roll, or even generate B-roll using AI and Google VO3 all here in the Riverside editor. Also, you can apply our AI tools like removing silences, removing filler words, choose smart layouts, which will focus on the active speaker full screen, and then show everyone in a grid in those in-between moments. And you can even auto-generate B-roll, where Riverside will place clips across your recording, making it visually engaging, all for you with that single click. Also, if you showed comments from the chat on screen, you can have those as text overlays, even in the final produced edit. Those are brought over automatically, and those lower thirds you showed will also be here in the editor. If you want, you can still remove those and you have full control over editing and designing them. This way your finished produced webinar can look exactly how you want. And that's how to live stream and record high quality webinars with Riverside. And there's even more features under the hood available to you. So if you have any questions and you wanna learn more, reach out to the Riverside team. They'd be happy to help.